Hello again. We're back in Horizon 4, exactly where we left off last episode. So, what are we doing today? Well, we're going to progress. We actually have <laughs> the Bugatti still, which is absolutely amazing to me. Uh, we should have an auction alert now. The clear was sold for 200,000 credits. Thank you. That's what I wanted to get rid of. I put it on sale just before the end of the last episode, as I was saying that I wanted to do an auction episode. I thought that'd be quite fun. Someone actually bought my Clio. Can you believe it? So we have 370 grand. Still more than more than the money we should actually have, I think, at this point in the game. Last episode, we did actually finally unlock the R34 GTR. So, as I own one of these, I think that we should build one of these and make it exactly like my R34 GTR, as close to it as possible as we can get into this game. I'm excited to do this. Look at the hood. The hood's actually the exact same as mine, which is pretty sweet. Well, not the exact same, but it's pretty down close. The front bumper is the standard GTR bumper. Mine is the exact same, but it's carbon. We haven't got any spats on the side or the rear. We do, at some point, I want to put uh, 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 the other front bumper on the car, but that's all going to come after power. Power is the main priority right now for that car. So, let's back out of this and uh, start customizing. So, no, back in this way. Upgrades and tuning. Now, this is where I'm going to start spending all of my points as well, my, my uh, mastering points, which is a pretty cool thing. Uh, don't show me this again. I do not care. Performance-wise, my car is pretty stock. The only thing is, can I actually see uh, what, what the performance is of it right now? There we go. Power, 327. You know what? Mine's actually been uh, changed a little bit. So, the intake... I don't believe is stock so technically I should be making a 340 horsepower that's what I'm going to assume that's exactly falls I said so so it must be real we do actually also have an exhaust a full exhaust system which is actually a race exhaust it's the blitz exhaust system so actually how much power did that say we make now 368 I don't make 368 horsepower I can let you know that the turbos stock everything else stock uh, as far as I know the intercooler and everything so i don't want to really change anything else we should probably have one gtr that we keep that is like mine and then one that isn't i think that'd be pretty cool uh, but let's back out of that for now and brakes Here's handling thank you very much we've got suspension so let's let's lower this car a little bit we've got drift suspension which is actually a new thing which is pretty cool i don't have drift i have let's let's not say race but i mean i'm gonna put it down to sport suspension that's about the height of my car uh, weight reduction. Now we got all the weight, all the all-wheel drive heaviness. Drive train, so you can actually put all that power down. Where do you come from? I don't know. Tire writing, not yet, but it's gonna happen. So let's let's put some tire writing on it, and we've got some nice race tire compound as well. Size of the wheels, I have no clue. Wheels on the wheels, get it? Um, I guess I don't know. I don't know what wheels I have, so I'm just gonna assume that's close to what they look like. Can I change the color of them? I think I, I actually had the ability to. I think it was these. I, I've lost them, okay? I lost them. Whatever. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Anyway, let's get to the front bumper upgrade. So what can we put on here? We can get this top secret bumper, which I'm not a massive fan of. The Nismo front bumper, which is pretty cool. We got this and the Forza front bumper. So actually, I don't think we can get the proper bumper that I want anyway. Which is rather interesting. When was the last time they updated this damn model? Wing, all I can do is remove it or change it. Ain't happening. Rear bumper. What are we going to do to that? Are we going to change that? There we go. Got some spats on there. The spats are actually part of this bumper. Put a bit of, bit of, bit of, bit of nismo, nismo on there. Thank you very much. There you go. My F34. That'll do. Install. Now I'm just going to make the wheels black. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do. We have about 32,000 influence to go to try and level up. So let's jump straight into another race. There's a race over here. Let's get on with it. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't do this in mine. Drive it around in the snow. I know it totally could, but it's not been under sealed yet. So <laughs> maybe a little bit in the future. We'll drive the R34 in the snow. It'll be pretty sweet, actually. With this all-wheel driveness holding, plowing down. But anyway, where's my mate jamming? Jamming, I've got some racing to do, and you're the boss of it. I wish I could also rip off that rear wiper, which I need to do on mine. I want to remove the rear wiper, though I do know that there's going to be a big hole in the window after I do that, so I'll figure it out. No, wrong button. I'm used to pressing this for some reason. Solo, there it is, fixed up, looking sharp. Oh, look at that. What a peasant next to me. 
Simsima what? All-wheel driveness. Yeet. Right, he's actually driving in the snow now. Let's have a look at this car quick. Pants actually drives an R34 in a game, so reviews it like he is actually driving his own R34. It's pretty accurate, actually, the interior. I wish there was a boost gauges on the screen. That would be amazing. All the GTR level. Why is that Mini there? It's not even in the race. Plowing through the snow. Look at the wipers going. Rear wipers and all. Is the rear wipers really necessary? No. The rear wipers on any car are totally unnecessary. Especially on sports cars. I, don't, I do not understand it. The design of the body shape is to make it so that everything, including air, travels over the top and goes. And that's what rain will do. This is what I'm doing every other night. Coming out racing in the snow. Oh, yes, mate. That's what it's all about. King Kong... Four, five, six. It's gonna try to say four, five, eight. I'm after you. Let's actually try and do some drifts and stuff during the events because that. Oh, wheel drive skidding. Will get us loads more fan following. Whatever influence is the the term they use on this. This is supposed to be like a little hill climb section here. How about we skid around the corner? You mate. You're in a world of trouble if you don't move out my way. I'll push you off, Cliff. I can't do that, you know. But you know, ruined it, I know. Is that a fellow transit van, mate? It is. Me mate in, in a tranny van. Oh, yes. Clean racing. I hit something, didn't I? Probably why it ended. <laughs> Come on! I want to put a few skids in here just to actually gain it up a little bit. Because if they, it will literally level me up faster and I'll go to the next season, which I think we have one more season and then... That's pretty much the end of the game because Forza does that a lot in where you do all the festivals once a, like, you know, you used to move around festivals. You do a couple of things moving around and then that was the end of the game technically. You'd redoing it and unlocking those other things was just a bonus. So we're, we're almost finished the game, lads. That's how it is. Very nice car there, love. You, so, you sir, not so much. That's a Ford? I didn't know what it was, if I'm honest. 13 grand. Pop it, me, pop it in my bank account. I'm appreciative. Three, four thousand influence on that one. I got more from actually the messing about with the race. The leveling up as well on both. What do we get? Don't talk about street scene. Pr what? We gotta get 150 thousand for the next showcase, and we get a wheel spin. What's it gonna give us? Did we use our wheel spin that we got from the other thing? I can't remember. We got a Lotus. Should we use that in the snow? That would be bloody brilliant. Jamming. It's really awkward when he speaks, so I've, I've not even bothered to leave that in. <laughs> He's unlocked some more events for us, so we can just keep doing this if we want. I think that's a good idea. We should probably do something a little bit out of, out of the blue, though, and maybe do one of these races so that it's in the daytime and it's quite nice. Oh, it does look good in the snow because it doesn't, like... I, have an extremely I don't care. Because this is not dynamic weather... And that it is set kind of solid weather. It's it's so it looks good, like especially obviously the snow, more so the snow than anything else. When the snow actually has to lay down in games, for example, in the crew, it looks honestly. I'm impressed with how the crew does it. I, it's a snow. We, I've never seen one of those in my life. Is it a gritter? If it's a gritter as well, then I, I've seen those. Someone told me that I can turn off the DJs, which is actually a brilliant thing because the DJs actually make me want to die. Radio DJ. Oh, thank you. Whoever commented that, I love you. Classic race cars with some classic bangers. Yes, this is what all the Japanese folk were listening to. When they, wait, oh my God, the MX-5 has got its roof down. <laughs> That's actually really cool. I'm impressed with that. I didn't know you could actually do that. I thought it was stuck to having the roof up. Uh, maybe that was just something I completely missed. Anyway, 4,000 already. The beginning of this race. Can I keep that chain going? That's going to give me loads of influence, mate. I'm just going to keep saying fans or followers or something. Because that makes more... Get us loads of it. That's how much influence I have. Yes. GTR. Not doing so amazing on these tight corners. <laughs> it's too grippy. That's, is that possible? I don't know. It's not made for these tight courses. Oh, wait, you should just drive properly, Theo. This is how I drive my actual GTR, you know. Yeah, this is, this is exactly how I drive. Coming up to the finish now. Can we pass one more? GTA Sweat. I thought his name was GTA Wise Guy. <laughs> GTA Sweat, I'm coming for you. For me all-wheel drive. Kick it on. 
Go for the power. Pass loads of them at the end. Oh, GTA sweat. You have been sweated on. You've been sweat on. You've been messed up. I, re yeah, I realize I've not even mentioned. Yeah, I'm still wearing a coat. Some people that just jumped into this and did the last video are like, why is this man wearing a coat? It's cold, mate. It's winter. <laughs> Sorry. And we're coming across the line. I got beat by an MX-5. And look at that woman's hair. It's like one poly hair. People are like, what's a one poly? Poly polygons. Are they the, the, the shape count for the car? I don't know. 2,000 influence for that race. That's not very much at all, is it? What town is this exactly? Is it one of the uh, bigger towns? Yes. Amb Ambleside. It's the big one of the biggest towns in, in it. And there's three, practically. It's Anderson Park! Anderson Park. That's, that's, that's his name, Anderson Park. Um, do we have this house? We do have this house, so we can fast travel to it. Up for another street race with my mate Jammin. And that is getting chained. Bisto, bisto, gravy on my mic. One, two, three. We've got the Kia Stinger next to us, which is pretty so weird. The Stinger is a, an awesome car. Now, this is the GTR's element. These kind of longer, longer roads where we can get some power down. Come on, Skyline. Give me some. Oh, give me some. That's what I want to see. I want, there's a corner. Titty in the wall, in the bush. The bush. We're pulling, we're pulling, we're pulling. What is that ahead of me? I actually don't know. Am I blind? Possibly. What I... I'm never going to find out now. I'm not sure. Someone tell me in the comments. Tell me! It looks pretty sweet. Kind of reminded me of a bit... What are you doing in this? Why is... What is that? It's got nothing to do with what everyone else is in. You know? Come on. Come on. Go for it. I was in a transit van, to be fair, the last episode. I don't know what I'm talking about. I know for a fact that the last video... This video is probably going to get more, more views. And I, it's because I had to put a transit van on the thumbnail for the last one. People are like, why would I watch a video with a transit van? This person's uploading a car with a million horsepower. So I'm going to, to click that one. Well, some of us have taste, you see. Some of us have taste and don't want to just jump to the supercars. I ain't about that. I want to I wanna do it properly. Are you? Am I mad for wanting to play a game like a game should be played? I think not. Full view. Nice scenic for... Oh. I almost went over, all the way over there. So it's so easy to drive in the snow. A lot of people, were, well, some people were worried that the snow would ruin. Oh, I don't want to play in this season. I'm not going to play for a week because I don't want to play in a season. It, it, it drives like there's no snow here at, at all. It drives just like it does every other season. So kind of disappointed that they toned that down. I was hoping that maybe there would be much more of a difference for those that you know wanted to drive in the snow we drive we want snow because we want it to be like snow comprende for the gtr grand tourer gtr grand touring amazing that's de decimated what oh it's an infinity thingy that's why we don't get many of those here so that would be why give me my money six thousand vip but so vip doubles the money jesus wet no wonder I'm getting too much money. I mean, even without, that's still a lot of money, I think. Almost at level 10. Almost got that hoodie. Well, the other YouTuber is at level 60 million. Okie okay, dokie. So I think that about does it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining us with the Skyline, which is pretty sweet. Look at that jump. Should we go for the jump? We're going to go for the jump. If you enjoyed this video, my friends, you know what to do. Smash that like button. But get those bloody sheep in, for God's sake. It is blooming freezing. What temperature is it? Why is it in Fahrenheit? For God's sake. 80, 48. 48 Fahrenheit. What the heck is... What the hell is 48 Fahrenheit? I don't know. Be, uh, subscribe if you know how to see in the next video. Get him in. Oh, please.